So Lynn has asked me if this air fryer cookbook is Slimming World friendly because she's following Slimming World. And Gabby has asked me the same about Weight Watchers and I've had requests about paleo, keto and lots of other diets as well. And I should start by saying that the complete air fry cookbook when we checked, I think it was 84% of the recipes in the cookbook are below 600 calories per serving. So that gives you a general idea about how many you've got that are over reasonable calories. And as someone that's um, been on Slimming World, is currently on Weight Watchers, has done Paleo, has done the Whole30, I do have quite a few recipes that I've got as inspiration from various diets that I've been on. And this shows in the cookbook. So let me give you a flick through of some examples. Now, first of all, if you're on a diet, I, I would avoid the uh, pudding chapter. This chocolate cake, no, nah, that's not diet. You wish it was though, don't you? And the same goes for the savoury baking section as well. But then, when we get um, into it in more detail, the roast dinner, it's very easy to make it uh, so that it's diet friendly. And for example, when we do this, the difference here between this and the traditional cookbook is that the air fryer uses hardly any oil at all. So for example, if I look on the ingredients here, I can see that for this recipe, there is only one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil to feed four people for a Sunday dinner. And let's have another flick. We've got frozen cauliflower. This was actually using the frozen cauliflower from Iceland. It's really, really good. And this comes in at 219 calories. And yes, that has got a little bit of oil on it. And then when I'm thinking of the low carb crowd, we purposely put these courgette pizza slices in it for you. And it's just delicious. And it's just courgette with two different types of cheese on top. And it's absolutely delicious. And then you've got carrots, you've got loads and loads of different veggies to choose from. The butternut squash, for example. Let's have a look at this one. That's 134 calories a serving. You've got step-by-step -step instructions. So if you've not done butternut squash before or any kind of veg, then it's a good starting point. We've got potato wedges, potatoes with bacon, baby potatoes. For example, these baby potatoes here come in at just 206 calories a serving, which is brilliant. And then if you are on a diet and you're avoiding your potatoes, we have crispy root vegetable chips. My local greengrocer asked me just the other day which veggies to include and I said swede or you might call it rutabaga, parsnips and carrots. So it's wonderful for a veggie loading um, alternative to normal french fries. And then the step by step for our french fries is another brilliant example because I originally got an air fryer after seeing it in a slimming magazine and getting all excited over the fact that you could have chips whenever you wanted them for a fraction of the normal calories. Well, when you think that a lot of the uh, fast food chips come in at a thousand calories a portion, these are just 391 and they're brilliant. And if you are on something like Weight Watchers or similar, it's just one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil is all the oil that's required and that's for four people. Remember when Philips brought the first air fry to market in 2010, its intention was the diet market. It wasn't on about interested at the time about energy saving. It wasn't interested at the time about making meal times easier. Its sole marketing plan was diet food. So it was the fact you could eat diet chips every day and they tasted like chips from the fish and chip shop. And that's exactly what these are like. And then um, this recipe here, it's very much my thoughts is Weight Watchers and similar like Slimming World. And the idea here is Weight Watchers wrap and then it's cut into triangles, air fried and it makes the best ever tortilla chips. 
and they're just so good and it's just wraps um extra virgin olive oil and that's all you need for those and then we've also got here uh curry chickpeas and these are brilliant because it's just canned chickpeas oil and seasoning and it's just absolutely perfect and they're like 200 calories a serving and they are ideal for when you want a snack on a night and you can't decide what to have i'm just thinking what else mushroom stroganoff uh very easy to do this with some light philadelphia to keep the calories down and then we've got our stir fry here um with noodles this comes in at 366 calories per person it's absolutely delicious our reader favourite for those that have got a copy of the cookbook so far is the Halloumi fajitas and the beauty of these is these are below 500 calories a serving and they're brilliant because the Halloumi cheese cooks with the peppers in the air fryer and it's amazing. And then let's see what else we've got that jumps out at me. Oh, you've got tuna salad here. This is using eggs, tuna, green beans, potatoes and eggs. And what's great about it is they all cook in the air fryer together. And then we have our rainbow salmon bowls. Brilliant healthy recipe. Perfect for so many different types of diets. And it's a big size portion per person and it's still below 600 calories each. We've got Friday night fish and chips. And you think of the high calories in fish and chips. Note that it's breading and that you're cooking them in the air fryer. So this is a big reduction on a normal traditional fish and chips. We've got our whole tilapia recipe here, which is brilliant. And per whole fish, um, it comes in at about 320 calories or if you if you share in the whole fish it's about 163 and it's brilliant and then you can all always um air fry your salmon fillets so just have a look at that don't they look lovely and you can do this with any kind of fish fillets and then you can combine this with recipes from the vegetable chapter and the potato chapter. And you've got a delicious uh, fish dinner for your tea. And then my personal favourite. And this was originally inspired during our low carb days. And that's Dom's weeknight pizza. We've actually just had this for lunch today. And we had it with chicken mince. And you can use uh, minced beef pork or any of your favorite meats but chicken is really really nice for it as well then you've got meatballs you've got um low carb spaghetti with squash with bolognese over it you've got taco meat you've got my uncle's meatloaf uh, you've got pork chop dinner you've got lamb chops you've got steak and steak is just lovely in there and I love how little points it is for the steak on uh, Weight Watchers. And then, of course, you've got your breaded chicken. And then another one of my favourites is coming up. And that is cheesy chicken wrapped in parma ham. And I tell you now, the inspiration of this came about, I'm just trying to think how long ago it was. I think it was the 90s. And I was at Slimming World with my mum. And back then, you didn't have online Facebook groups when you were on Slimming World. And they used to have these massive posters up with people's recipes on that you would write down. And I remember chicken wrapped in bacon with a bit of Philly in the middle was the go-to recipe. And it's just perfect for cooking it in the air fryer. You can mix and match which bacon you use, which cheese you use. And this is just... 382 calories a portion so it's absolutely brilliant i mean look at that doesn't that look delicious and then for a low carb and delicious recipe i just love this i don't think of it as low carb i just think of it as something nice that i like to air fry and it's like you're all in one chicken and veggies cooked together in the air fryer and it's just 221 calories per serving and it's just perfect then you have your chicken breasts, 141 calories a serving, absolutely brilliant. 
Then we've got the whole chicken. And when I think of this whole chicken, I often have this uh, with some veggies and the kids and the dog will fight over who has my skin because take off the skin and it's even lower in calories. And then we've got the breakfast, all in one bowl for breakfast, perfect. You can mix and match with veggies, sausages, bacon, whatever you want to use. You can uh, not use the sausages and then keep it even lower in calories. Full English breakfast, that is actually quite easy to make lower calorie if you wanted to. Stuffed pepper breakfast omelette, absolutely brilliant and it fills you up. And the same goes for our frittata. And then my personal favourite that I used, that I absolutely loved, um, for when I've been on Weight Watchers before and now, and the same applies to Slimming World and other ones, and that's veggie loaded egg cups. They're just loaded uh, with veggies, and then you add in some egg and that, and they're like um, a muffin, but with the mixture of what you would add to an omelette, and they're just brilliant for the air fryer got scrambled eggs, we've got fried eggs, we've got boiled eggs, we've got soft boiled eggs and soldiers. And what we will do with those is if you're on diet, you could swap this and have it with some carrot sticks or our asparagus recipe from the uh, veggie chapter. There's just so many possibilities. And that's just how wonderful this is if you are on a diet. Like I said, the air fry was made for diets. That was what its sole purpose was back in the day. And I, I believe that still applies now. I mean, it's just absolutely brilliant. Whether you're on a diet or not, this is just your brilliant go-to. And if you are on Weight Watchers, Slimming World, Paleo and similar diets, I'm sure you could be looking through that then and thinking, ah, yes, I never thought about that in the air fryer. I didn't realise there was that many recipes that were healthy, that were perfect for the air fryer. So there you go. Don't forget to go and grab yourself a copy from Amazon. And we hope you love the complete air fryer cookbook as much as we do.